when you talk about someone that is able to really handle a tremendous amount of responsibility and be a, a, a man of his craft, a tradesman, someone that could come in and take control and really make stuff happen, the name Paul Spitali comes to mind. Oh, thank you. Thank I've, you. I've been friends with, with Paul now for a number of years. Paul has been really, really good to me. Paul now has always had a lot of responsibility, yeah, yeah. but now we have the Colt CZ merger and the, and the Colt CZ group. Yeah, yeah. So now your responsibilities have been magnified yes, yes. and increased. Yeah. So let's talk a little about that. Tell me about Tell me about what you think well, is, is pertinent. You know, it's exciting, Hunter. Like I said, you, you know, we've known each other for a long time. Yes, sir. And, you know, the Colt company that was laden with all this debt back in 15, and we were struggling to get a retail identity and connect with our customers. We've, we've done a lot of great work over the last seven, eight years to really change things. And, and so it was nice when we were in a situation where we became an acquisition target. And um, for us... You know, for the last few years, we were under private equity, which was really important and needed in, in our, you know, in our recovery of coming back as a, as, a, as a healthy financial company. All of a sudden, we had interest from a company, and um, and now all of a sudden, we have become not just the CZ Group, which was the corporate name for the, our parent company, but now they've changed, they're so enamored with Colt that now the company is called the Colt CZ Group, and uh, so I'm very proud to be a part of that. You know, for a company that had all this debt and all this, all these issues, to a company that has a really proud, I think, um, a financial position, our, our portfolio is good, our retail customers and distributors are real happy with what we've been doing, and now to be able to expand that into Dan Wesson and CZ USA, um, it's exciting for me personally. Uh, as it should be. Yeah. So today, the past couple of days, we have been out here at Gunsight Academy. Hasn't this great? As, man. It's man, it's 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 Disneyland for gun people, the, yeah, as Ken Campbell right. says. Um, yeah. And we've had a couple of days to shoot a really a lot of nice guns. We've had some great food. We've fellowshiped with a lot of like-minded yeah. people. We've yeah. made new friends and yeah. reconnected with friends. Yeah. It's just been a really overwhelming experience. Now, before we get into that, I, I like to say that I'm very thankful and honored to be invited. To, to these events and all that you do for me and, and Colt does for me it's it's very important to me and I'm, I'm so thankful and I really want you to know that thank you thank you Hunter. and I can tell you this and and we, we at Colt and now we at this Colt CZ group we think in the long term and you know early in 15 when we were repurposing this company and you and I had some great conversations early on yes sir and you were very helpful, you know, in trying to, you know, help me get into this new industry of, of this firearms industry. I was always an enthusiast. I've been shooting since I was this high. But to be a part of this industry, and, and so we never forgot that. So you'll always be on a first list of people that we would want to be a part of a, of a, a media event like this, Media Day here at Gunsight. And, um, we also feel very especially in the fact that we've had this long tenure relationship, you know, started with Colonel Cooper in the yes, 1911, sir. and now to have this historic facility is a backdrop to what we do. It's, it's incredible. It's and, an amazing uh, facility. And uh, for the first time ever to bring, you know, our entire group from CZ USA and Dan Wesson here to show these wonderful new guns, it was, it was, it was amazing. So we're really happy about it. So you, y'all are introducing several new guns. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about those. So the, what really excites me, you know, the Anaconda, and, and, I, and for people who know the Anaconda, the original Anaconda, it was a great, it looked wonderful, felt good in people's hands. One of the problems, one of the hallmark uh, problems, underpinning problems with it, was the coil spring action. And my view of it was, I love the silhouette, this large frame revolver, 44 Magnum, but the action deserved a better trigger, and, and so, what we did in our engineers, and I, I give a lot of credit to our R&D uh, folks there, a small team that does incredible work, but they literally just scaled up a Python action. And so our Anaconda customers today are not having to deal with some crazy double action, you know, that, that's very difficult to pull. Now they have this smooth, linear, non-stacking, you know, double action with the leaf spring, and it's it's a huge difference. I mean, it's, it's oh, night, yeah. and day, night and day. So... To me, that's where it starts. When we can build a product and bring it back into our marketplace, like we did with the Python, you know, people said, well, Paul, you, you really want to bring, yes, because I believe we could do it in a better way. And much like, you know, many industries, 
when you come back into it, I love the aesthetic of the python and the anaconda, but if we could build it better and make it more user-friendly, having a front sight where people could take a simple Allen key and, and uh, change it out. You know, some of the old python products, you had to roll pin or stake sight, and you know, you know, you buy a gun, then all of a sudden you got to go to a gunsmith and spend 120 or $50 to get a sight replaced. Now with a simple Allen key, anybody can call up my friend, you know, Larry Potterfield or Pete Brownell and, and order a sight for it. And so this is exciting for me. It always has to start with a customer. Okay. Yeah. And as of now, there's a four inch version. And there, yeah, the four inch. So what really excited me about the Anaconda was having a product that lugging around an eight inch gun, it's a great hunting platform, don't get me wrong. But if you're a guide in Alaska, or if you're you know on a trail and you want to carry something like a four inch and a chest rig or on a side, strong side holster, a four inch gun is really well balanced. Easily and, and, and so here we go. Here we have something that we can bring into areas in bear country and other places and, and safely carry a gun that's not super overburdening with weight. And uh, so that was one of the reasons. And we know you know, our, whether it's the Python 3 inch, and anytime we did things that were scaled down into that place where it's well balanced, oh man, the shooters nice. love it, the shooters love it. And you've, you've got some trigger time with this. Oh yeah. Oh, and, nice. and, and be straight with me, what do you think of it? I love it, I, I love it, and, and what I really love is being able to shoot it now effectively in double action, because the original Anaconda, for me it was really just a single shot platform that you have to use a, a, a single, single action, action mode. And so now with this double action trigger, it allows you to roll the trigger, have follow up on, you know, big game. A, a number of people within our, uh, our office have taken some big deer with the oh, nice. deer and white tails. And um, so I'm, I'm super excited about as a hunting platform, but it's just, a, it's a fun gun to shoot too. And also I, I got some time yesterday with a, uh, a bolt action rifle yeah, from Colt, yeah, yeah, yeah. chambered in 308 and 65 Freedmore. You got it. Either or. Yeah, so th the thing about the, the, the new Colt um, CBX, it's a precision rifle platform. The thing I love about it, again, how can we, we've had on our roadmap for a number of years now to do a bolt rifle. We, we understand that there's a customer out there that we really believe we can deliver a quality product to. We wanted to do something that would have not just the push feed products, some of which are out there. We thought we could do something a little better and a little different. And uh, I'm really happy what we've created. Um, but it wouldn't have been possible, again, going back to our relationship with, with, um, with CZ and UB, it wouldn't have been possible without this infusion of engineering supports and other, you know, other supports that we've gotten from this new Colt CZ group. Um, we couldn't do it on our own. We've been waiting to get enough you know, money and, and investment to go after it, and now we can. And so, one of the things that I think a lot about is how much green space in this industry. You know, we have MSRs, which you're very familiar with, and now revolvers and, and 1911s, but there's a whole huge part of the industry that we haven't gone after. And uh, that's rare for a 187 year old right. company, yes, you know, so, so we're, gonna, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make good on that. And there's gonna be more categories, but, the one thing I will say about the bolt rifle, this is the first flavor of a family of guns that we're oh. going to build out. So stay so tuned. So there's more to come. Oh, stay tuned. So in your opinion, or do you believe that it's true that CZ and Colt merging was, was a good thing? It was a, you know, a fantastic thing. It was, it was a great thing on, on so many levels. And the one thing I love about it, me in particular being responsible for sales and marketing, or, you know, we're able to, we understand the Colt customer is a unique customer. We're not going to blend these brands in such a so way. They're, they're CZ gonna... USA has a brand and Dan Wesson has a brand. In fact, I'm, I'm pushing more and more to have Dan Wesson because Dan Wesson has a real special connection with its customers and it should. And um, so you're going to see these three primary bands play a huge part in what we do with the consumer. No, and, uh, we're not, we're, there's not going to be any... They're going to remain together but separate. Well, you know, you can consider us, we're owned by the same parent company, but, you know, it, it's kind of analogous to when you see things like Beretta and Benelli, you know, they're owned by the same parent company, but they have very different customer base. They have very different, you know, marching orders to their consumers and different portfolio of products. I, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, the Scorpion is a different customer than the Python. Yeah, I would, agree with, I would agree right? with that. And yes, so, sir. So I, I think, and, and, and even within Dan Wesson, Dan Wesson and Colt, we share some of our customers in the 1911 space, but, but 
Um, Colts, uh, you know, we build a, a quality, you know, you, you, think oh, about, yeah. you think about that competition pistol. I, I challenge in our industry anybody to come in at a price point around $1,000 for a U.S. forged steel with, you know, accurate accuracy, a very accurate gun, tremendous layout of the ergonomics of the 1911. I think it stands alone. I don't think there's anybody out there that produces something at that price point that, that, it, that is close, you know. So um, so I think you'll see that continue on. Well, that's that's yeah. good news. So it's win-win, then. It was good all the way around oh, yeah. for everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look, uh, Mr. Spitali, I know that you are a super busy man because you are running the show. <laughs> so I'm, I'm indebted to you for, you for you to take a few minutes and talk with me. Always, always. And, uh, and thank you so much, always, my brother. friend. Always, I appreciate always, it. Always, and, always. Uh, We'll, we'll keep an eye on Colt and see what y'all come up with. All and right. uh, whatever I could do to play my little part, I'm, I'm in there, brother. All right, man. Good. Thank Good to you. Talk to you. Thank you, Paul. All right.